as a musician, is it in your best interest to watch a movie about Elvis? Let's discuss. All right, welcome to Crafty Music Tips, the music tips channel where me, Crafty, talks about all things music related. And you may have noticed if you're not new to this channel that I'm always accompanied by this legend. It's a rug that is on the wall in this little studio that I've got here. And it's always good spending time with Elvis because Elvis was probably the first real artist that just made me get into music. And so when I heard that Baz Luhrmann had been making a film about Elvis, I was pretty keen to go watch it. It's just so exciting. <laughs> And so whether or not you've seen it, I'm just going to talk about in this video the reasons why it would be helpful as a musician for you to see the story of Elvis. Okay, so my first reason is that it's a bit of a history lesson in music, not just the fact that, you know, it's a story on one particular artist focused on one artist, but if you have a look at the way that the music scene was in the 1950s to the way that it was in the 1960s and the 1970s, you know, it's pretty different to the way that it is now. And just knowing parts of what brought us here today can't hurt you as a musician. Now, I don't want to give any spoilers away in this video, but one thing that I will say is that being quite the Elvis fan, when I was watching the film in the cinema, I did notice that there was a bunch of things, probably a couple of hands full of different little elements here and there that weren't actually true to the Elvis story. This ain't no nostalgia show. We're gonna do something different. And in a way that kind of bugs me, but also I do understand that it's a movie, it's not a documentary. And so for the second reason why a musician would benefit from going to watch the movie Elvis, it really highlights how important management is and how important marketing is. Now, one might argue that the story of Colonel Tom Parker and Elvis, you know, is not a very wholesome one. And so in one way, I guess you could say that it's also a lesson in trying to be really careful and cautious in an industry that might take you for a ride. But really, one might ask, without Colonel Tom Parker, would Elvis have been the king of rock and roll? Would he be as successful as he was? Yes, I personally would think that he would have some success because he was really, really, really great. Which brings me to my third point in the form of a question, which is if Colonel Tom Parker didn't find Elvis, if he didn't discover him at that exact time, then would have Elvis become as successful, as well known, to the entire world. You might argue that he would have because of his talent, but talent and ability isn't everything. You kind of have to tick a lot of boxes and Elvis really ticked so many, one of which was his timing. The timing being that he really maximized on being a white guy singing very black influenced music, rhythm and blues style. And so he and Colonel Tom Parker definitely wouldn't have been able to have planned that. They just were really lucky with their timing. Now, I don't know about you, but I've definitely come across people that are really, really talented. They've got the look, they've got the sound, they've got the ability, but it's just not the right time or the right place or the right area. So you know, Elvis and Colonel Tom Parker really had timing and you can really get a good sense of that watching the movie. Timing is everything. Now I've got one last point to throw out. Yeah, I could mention many, but I'll just leave you with this. The juggling act of the professional life versus the personal life. You really get a really strong sense of how important it is to have some sort of a balance. And sadly, Elvis's personal life really took a backseat to his professional life in many instances. And without giving you any exact spoilers, I'll just say that you really get a strong taste for what it would have been like to be the king of rock and roll, trying to juggle his professional life and his personal life. All right, so there you have it. There's my take on why a musician should go check out the movie Elvis if you haven't already done so yet. What did you think about that take? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's some other points that I could have discussed. Now, with the name Crafty Music Tips, yes, you guessed it. There is a ton of other music tips related videos that you can go check out on this channel. But if that's still not enough, I have one extra quick thing to offer you. It's called Five Steps to Fast Improvement. Basically, wherever you're at on your musical journey, 
let's face it, we've all been there where we feel like that we're chasing our tail and that we're just not getting the improvement that we want. And so the reason why I feel like that it's a susceptible issue for anybody out there is because you're just not clear on what it is that you need to do. So what I do is I lay out the five steps really clearly. It's a real easy read. So I'll leave a link below. Go check it out if that can help. And so wherever you are in the world, I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope to see you in another one really soon. Wherever you are, take care, keep rocking. I'll see you soon.